my god. There's a spider on my bed. Come here. No, I need to free you. <gasps> oh my god, was that? Where has it gone? <gasps> no. There's always something to distract me from starting my videos, I swear. To the great universe and beyond. Hello my loves and welcome to the Kundalini series. If you are new to my channel, my name's Lauren. I have had a YouTube channel for probably about seven years now. I've kind of been back and forth with different topics, mostly talking about spirituality, quite a few videos on travel. I love to make vlogs. I like to just talk about life experiences really in hope that it helps other people. But the Kundalini has been a big thing that has happened to me in the last year and a half. And I talked about my full Kundalini awakening, the symptoms that happened to me after the awakening in another episode which I will link down below and also link within this video. It is quite a long video but it is very detailed. I wanted to just share my experience and within all of that happening I have decided to share a full Kundalini series talking about different topics based on the Kundalini subject as a whole all based on my own personal experiences because when I went through my Kundalini awakening all I could do was search up information in regards to Kundalini and so many people on this platform helped me with their experiences just sharing them and just me having some sort of resonance with their journey so I wanted to do the same and hope that my experience helps others because we're all very different beings we all have very different experiences even though they are in some way interlinked and quite aligned and synchronized there is parts that we will experience that others might not and there might be things that you might not have heard yet that I might have experienced so hopefully this will help you but in today's video it's just a short one to just talk about the subjects that are to come but I just want to make a side note that I don't think that I'm going to have a number on this series. I think that I'm just going to continue to share content based on the Kundalini experience as a whole because I'm only a year and a half into my journey and I know that some people share their journeys five years down the line and what they've experienced then. So I want to make sure that this is an open topic and then there's no like full stop end point on me sharing this. So just stay tuned. The next few videos that I will be posting on my channel are going to be about Kundalini but I will have created a playlist on my channel that is specifically for kundalini awakening so please if you are interested in any sort of other video in regards to kundalini awakening they will all be within that playlist so go check that out i make sure i keep my playlists very clean and tidy so you can find things nice and easily so grab your cup of tea if you're seeing this in a few months time or a year's time or whenever then grab your cup of tea and go and check out the series and just let yourself binge watch because i did the same and um you might just find that this is super helpful for you and i really hope it is because i know the struggles and I know the beauty of it as well. So these are just a couple of points that I'm going to be talking about in the next few videos. But as I said, this is going to be an open end subject that I want to continue to talk about. So if this is like the first video you're seeing, then there could be an extensive list of other Kundalini related videos on my channel or within the playlist. So just go check that out. But as it stands, this is going to be quite a few videos to come that I'm going to be touching on in the next few weeks and months on my channel. So when I post this, this will be in August 2024. So whenever you see it, just know that there's probably plenty more out there now. So we're going to talk about the physical and mental symptoms and side effects of my Kundalini awakening. What I have realized in the last year and a half of my Kundalini awakening, and this will again be another open end because I want to share what I've realized in the years to come as well. The dark side of Kundalini awakenings, that's a big one because although the Kundalini awakening is like this beautiful spiritual awakening, it also does show you a lot of your fears and a lot of the dark side of it as well because it's all about the yin and the yang and the snake you know sheds its old skin to be reborn again and that is the cycle that the snake moves through so you're constantly shedding and being reborn over and over again so when you shed you're shedding old patterns old belief systems old processes old thoughts there's a lot of things that we shed and within the shedding process it can be quite dark and heavy and a little bit painful so that is a big thing that i want to make sure i touch on i want to share about my physical body changes the effect that the kundalini awakening has had on my sensitivity levels massive by the way so it's going to be really interesting to look back on these videos in years to come and see whether that's still resonant as well which obviously i still want to share as well why i isolated myself so much after i had my awakening that was a big thing i definitely went into isolation and definitely am a lot more introverted than i used to be so we're going to touch on that we're going to be talking about being selective with who you share your experience and your journey with and although i am putting this out on the internet not everyone i know watches my channel and i'm putting this out there for the people that have actually been through it and need 
to find someone that can understand and relate to what they're moving through because I understand what it's like when you feel really alone moving through this and I also understand what it's like telling someone about this who really thinks that you just sound absolutely crazy so I understand all the points right okay and this is why I wanted to touch on this because I do believe it's important to be selective about who you're sharing your experiences with because it is very out there it is very different it is sometimes quite hard to understand if you haven't been through it because I've been there I've been told by someone about their experience before I even had mine before I even knew what it really meant and I just didn't really understand what she was talking about and going through it then myself made me just think oh okay I get it now so I understand both parts the practices that I leaned on to help me move through my kundalini awakening and this again will be an open end because I feel like that is always ever evolving and changing so there's always going to be different practices that can help support you through your kundalini awakenings being more introverted after my kundalini awakening again this kind of goes back to like isolating myself after the kundalini awakening being more introverted is definitely something that I want to talk about a bit deeper because I definitely have noticed that about myself becoming a lot more introverted so I want to touch on that deeper I want to go deep into that subject as to why I felt the urge and the need and the desire to be a bit more introverted than I usually am and I'm already introverted so um (laughs) questioning my spiritual beliefs after my kundalini awakening this is a big topic that I want to talk about which will come I'm still trying to figure it out at this point in my current self that I am now in this moment I still am trying to figure this out don't really know what to say about it as of yet but this video will come going through either psychosis or kundalini awakening this is definitely a subject that I want to talk on I need to deepen this a little bit further um, because I have definitely battled with it myself am I going through a spiritual psychosis or are these kundalini awakening symptoms and also changes in routine diet and practices as I said that's ever evolving it's always growing and changing so I want to touch on this as well because if I can just help people deal with their kundalini symptoms and shifts and changes in a way that is just a lot more grounded then that's what I want to do I want to help people move through that because we can be very ungrounded when you're just on a spiritual journey it can be quite ungrounding so it's about learning different practices to like ground yourself back into this reality so that's kind of like a couple of subjects and topics that will be coming my channel isn't all related to kundalini awakening I actually really love just sharing lifestyle content and just being in the moment of life and I love vlogs I love sharing moments with people just different experiences that I'm doing and moving through and that's actually what I really love to do that's what I really love to share and a big part of my channel has been about spiritual awakenings and different topics to help move through the spiritual journey but I just feel as a whole at this point in my life I'm starting to kind of recognize that like I just really have done so much of that spiritual work talked so much about these spiritual topics there's so much out there now that I am just kind of tired about talking about those kind of things I'm not saying that they're stopping but just go check my channel out you'll see these videos of me talking about my experiences on a deep level I talk very vulnerably about my experiences I love to share because I actually really hope that they do help people out there not feel so alone that's so important to me because I know what it feels like firsthand to feel alone when you're going through awakenings but I also share content that is just me in a day-to-day it's so important for me that I spread the message about being true to who you really are as a person like really really showing up authentically and just being kind enjoying life and just being true to who you are and being true to others as well living in integrity is so important and I just really want to be the permission slip for everyone to just really be yourself and don't be afraid don't be afraid to be yourself I was so afraid for so long and it's so important to just really be you and if you are putting yourself in a box if you're hiding away from people because you're scared of showing up authentically if you're putting a mask on to please others like you're not loving yourself truly like fully you know you're 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 putting everyone else before yourself because you're worried if you want to express yourself in a way that's authentic to you it's going to affect others you're blocking yourself from like true enjoyment in life and yeah I'm learning it as well I'm not saying this from a place of I've never done that it has taken me years to really just be myself it's like I'm literally shedding the old belief systems the old patterns and the fears and all of that kind of stuff but we'll talk about this another time so anyway thank you so much for watching this video please stay tuned for the next video which will be linked down below and don't forget to check out the kundalini series on my youtube channel in playlists you'll find it all there you'll find everything you need 
and please let me know down in the comments section below if there's any specific video related to kundalini awakenings that you would like me to talk about and i'm more than happy to dive in and talk about that subject as well sending you so much love have a beautiful day bye i'd have that I'd i can't talk today guys it's really fucking stressing me out <laughs> oh my god how can i just be so scatty like this it's honestly annoying i annoy myself i annoy myself Thank you.